you have three years of experience why techni- why only technical and she asked me about that like when he is going to come back to india what he is doing there at the last moment i managed to get scholarship so i think Thank you again for doing this Vishal. Let's do a quick intro. Where are you from? What do you do? Fun stuff about you. Yeah, my name is Vishal. Uh, I'm from Bangalore like basically from North Karnataka. I studied my BTech in Bangalore uh, and I graduated in 2019. From then I've been working in MNC as a data analyst for the past 3 years. So now I'll be moving to University of Texas Dallas for this fall 2022. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, do profile because everybody loves to know the profile. So what was your GRE, TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo? Like that's common now. <laughs> People are doing that. And uh, GPA work experience, I think you said three years. But... My GPA was around 7.75 and GRE was around 320. So nice. I think that was an added advantage. And yeah. yeah, I had three years of work experience. And yeah, that's it, I guess. Like I, I took IELTS. I let's was total seven band. I didn't take TOEFL, TOEFL or Duolingo. Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah. And uh, what universities did you get admits, and which one did you accepted? Okay, actually, I got only one reject, and rest of the admits. Oh, the one wow. reject is from Indian University Bloomington, that is Masters in Data Science. Mm. The other universities I applied was Northeastern. Uh, I applied for two: one for Data Analytics, and one for Information Systems, mm. and SJSU. Uh, George Mason and UTD as well. Mm. And then, what is the major in UTD? Uh, Masters in Business Analytics. So I am thinking to take a Data Science and Data Engineering as specialization there. Nice, very nice. A very yeah. booming and upcoming field. You're gonna make a lot yeah. of money once you come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's awesome. Um, I know, like you had NU, SJSU, uh, George Mason, and UTD. So why UTD? UTD for like uh, I I narrow it down to NU because of co-op and UTD mm. because of uh, curriculum because yeah. where in UTD is famous for its pl- flexibility where the the our course name is like a master's in business analytics and flex so mm. there's a lot of flexibility where in we have six courses as core courses and the rest six are electives we can take it from any of the specialization mm. and if you take ranking wise like yeah UTD and Northeast one are, are at the top compared yeah. to SJSU and George Mason. Yeah. Even I got I added Chicago as well, but uh, since it was a it was too costly for me, so I I discarded right. that. Okay. And between NU and UTD, at the last moment I managed to get scholarship. So I think for the first year I'll be paying only like in-state tuition fee. So that was the main reason I chose UTD nice. over Northeastern. So how did you get that scholarship? I think when I contacted program director, he said like we consider uh, academics as well as GRE score. so people can get into uh, get into M- msba that is business analytics without gre score but if they want scholarship they have to submit gre score i oh. think gre gre score played a huge role in getting scholarship mm, that's a good information like i didn't know uh, so the scholarship is that instead of out of state you will pay in state fees yes and uh, like okay. for name sake it is 1000 plus in state tuition fee yeah yeah Uh, yeah i mean that's huge yeah that's uh, like that's a uh, in state fees versus out state i think you're going to say what like 5 7000 total or more no, i i calculated i i i'll be able to save around 13 to 14000 dollars wow i will write this for two semesters for first yes. year so got it yes. wow cool and oh. and it is not applicable for a, a summer summer course i guess only mm. for fall and spring okay got it okay Um so let's uh let's talk about the visa in- interview experience how did it happen what what was the questions they asked you what did you answer what was your experience like okay my interview was on uh, may 6th was biometric in chennai and may 10th was final interview biometric went smooth as usual there was nothing in biometric yeah. and for visa interview was like I was very nervous <laughs> and yeah since it was very early for fall mm. and my interview was around 10:30 am and it was raining heavily so there was no queue okay. all were like h1b or some family visa b1 b2 i guess yeah. so like they let me directly in and they since due to covid there was alternate counters okay. so one counter was 27th and one counter was 29th okay. that lady and which said, which embassy uh, chennai okay yeah one like that lady said me like uh, you can 
uh, stand in counter number 30 so counter number 29 was like uh, interview was undergoing so mm. once he finishes that you can go and join quarter number 29 mm. unfortunately that guy got rejected and i was oh, like now more nervous yeah. now <laughs> yeah seriously yeah. yeah like the thing i would like to mention is like that guy didn't know what was his gpa that lady asked politely four times like what is your gpa and he was not mm. able to tell Oh. like he 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 asked like counter question like what is gp and then she said percentage oh that's so weird <laughs> i was like shocked like how how can i come to interview without knowing what is no, gp yeah 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 oh yeah. uh, cool okay so what, yeah go ahead he got he got rejected and then like i was like really nervous <laughs> like yeah the first question for me was like why utd mm. okay. i i had structured my answers very carefully like since i am a data analyst like i work uh, closely with the pharmaceutical industry so healthcare analytics is my uh, strength mm. so in utd they have a healthcare analytics as a specialization so mm. i stressed a lot about that and in top of that like i, I also mentioned them i will be taking data science as well to expand my knowledge mm. and since i have data analytics knowledge now i just want to expand that to data science as well as like few uh, management subject as well mm. very nice uh, i like that answer yeah and like the one one more thing is like i uh, like structured my answer so that uh, like when whenever she asked like why utd i thought okay i i'll only going to be studying technical plus uh, management related mm. and because she knew like she she told me you have 3 years of experience why techni- why only technical mm. so i thought no no i'm i'm not only going to study technical i'm going to study technical plus management as well so in future i'll i'll be looking up to like working in a management or a leadership role Mm very nice. And the next question was ob- obviously like how many university did you apply mm. uh, what are the admits and what are the reject? Mm. And the the uh, out of the box question was like uh, what was your second priority university and why didn't you go there? <laughs> nice. Uh, what do you say that for that? Like I prepared for that as well like I told any was my second priority university. Mm. Uh, I I explained the curriculum like they had more courses which are related to cloud computing. Mm. which is not my strength so if i join utd i'll get n number of courses which are related to analytics where in northeastern like the more courses were inclined towards cloud computing uh, that was the main reason i chose utd over northeastern very nice cool uh, yeah i think they they were still kind of trying to figure out why utd but they they pitched they spinned it in a way like okay what was your second priority and <laughs> so yes. nice yeah. my every answer was like she was like she was trying to question that mm got it and she was proactive as well she was typing and she was looking at me everything like i was yeah. like totally nervous <laughs> but yeah i managed to get up, get it approved nice so and then, and then was that the only question or did they ask you more no uh, they asked me about finances uh, since i what i would say like finances i i planned like around i'll split the amount just to say that like they'll get a picture perfect picture mm. what i said was like i'd taken like 30 lakhs of loan and i have a liquid cash of uh, 30 lakhs so mm. in addition to that i have a scholarship as well so these mm. are the three parts i divided my finances 30 30 and then a scholarship nice cool and nice. since my i20 amount was only 38000 i think they were satisfied mm. Mm. and then that's it or did she say and like she my brother is in singapore so he's he works he's an nri so he works abroad and she asked me about that like when he's going to come back to india what he's doing there what's his company Oh and wow then, that yeah. is so different i mean i i didn't expect like if it was united states i would be still okay like but they asked about singapore as well that's interesting yes like at the last moment i managed to ask my brother like what is his like company because i don't know what's his company oh <laughs> yeah, yeah like that was lucky and then yeah he she even asked me like what's he's doing is he an it professional or something i told no he's not in it he's a mechanical design engineer mm-hmm. and then she was okay just like after him like, she again asked me what's my mother doing like said my mother mm. is a teacher and then yeah i she told like i work for accenture so she told like accenture is a good us uh, mnc company and your profile looks so good i'm approving your visa like these were the words she said nice. and my, <laughs> coincidentally yeah. may 9th was my friend's interview in yeah. in the same chennai and he told like that lady said the same thing to you and he was for ibm so the uh, only company name was different <laughs> the sentence was same Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was very nervous. Like when she asked me to, uh, like, put the fingers there to print it, and then she told like your profile looks so good. Like I'll approve your visa, and like 
have mm. a like study well she said and like i just came out of the and then <laughs> nice uh, awesome congratulations uh, you must be relief uh, yeah yeah you did like very much relief like it's a yeah. dream come true i think i yes. met you in bangalore as well so i remember I plan- I, yeah yeah i've been planning this for like past 4 years due yes. to covid it got postponed yeah. by again 2 years yeah so did you book your flights and uh, is it already all done yes yes i have booked my flight to like from doha and doha to dallas via qatar airways i think nice okay and to mention like student will get a 10% discount i guess uh, to student club member i got around 20000 discount and additional oh. baggage as well for 23 kg that's good i'll i'll put this uh, separate clip so that way people yeah. know that is, is it only for qatar or is it for all the airways yeah it's for all the airways i guess but the cheapest was qatar like it was i, I was planning for only one stop Mm. Uh, and again like uh, within th- uh, 28 to 30 hours flight so in mm. that range i think qatar was the best and if if you show your i20 or a student member club they'll give you uh, like one baggage extra that is 23 kg so it will be 23 into 3 baggage yeah. and then a seven, yeah. 7 kg and uh, is your apartments uh, booked as well or no no you did that's the last thing i'm looking at <laughs> like, nice. i'll i'll figure it out like yeah, still have yeah, time yeah. cool okay awesome um what's the one advice would you give to the student who are in this journey that's like the main advice i was like uh, like i like i can tell is like uh, write your sop and lr on your own and like people say like visa interview like uh, like randomly get uh, like rejected it depends on interior mode but what according to my experience is it, it totally depends on how you i can say it's like confidence is the game yeah. like yeah. it's a game of confidence how yes. confident you to be honest i didn't carry any itr anything man i didn't i had only <laughs> five to six documents that's it i was very confident that i because i am a genuine student i'm really passionate about what i'm going to study yeah. that's what like like they'll get to know like by looking our face like how genuine the student is yeah that is yeah. what i can say like if you are if you are very confident enough i think you will get your visa mm. but again like it's easy to say it now but yeah like nervousness will be there before yeah yeah awesome man uh, thank you again for doing this this is uh, so good i'm i'm glad uh, we go- we did this and i'm pretty sure once you are in dallas uh, i'll i'll probably be visiting dallas sometime soon so i'll i'll come meet you and then yeah you did like, you you have visited almost almost college but you left utd so i know i haven't visited the south of uh, yes. united states so i'm i'm planning to visit dallas soon people who like you you used to do videos like how to get a green card and that right mm. like with, with i used to watch that video when i was in third year <laughs> third year guy in yeah. tech who watch like yeah i used to watch every video you respect wow, so, so and you graduated and you have 3 years of experience so you've been watching my videos from last 4 5 years yes 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 <laughs> like the first thing i typed like masters in usa and your video popped up in 2018 i guess 18 yeah, end correct yeah from That's there i've been from there i've been watching your video irrespective of the topic yeah that's awesome thank you man that's that's that means a lot uh, all right uh, thank you again for doing this until our next one keep smiling and keep hustling yeah like i took like i i had to decide like i have to go with or not like but yeah like i used the prodigy loan letter oh. because like there was no middle person i i find like i find it very comfortable like working with them nice okay cool uh yeah yeah you so, remember like you were like you did that meet up session with them yeah yeah, yeah from yeah. there only i got to know about prodigy